Hello, my name is Clara Crawford. I uh, am a senior here at Fort Hayes State University. Um, I am majoring in early childhood unified education. Um, I'm really excited to have this last semester of classes and then start my student teaching and then getting out into the real teaching world. Uh, I am originally from Ellis, Kansas which is just 15 minutes um, west of Hayes. So I am very familiar with this community and the school districts around here because since I grew up here. And I have just always wanted to become a teacher because of the great ones that I had growing up. And I want to be able to give back to the community that gave me, that gave me such a great education. Um, I have seven siblings. I have a mom, my dad, and then a stepmom and a stepdad, so very well blended family. Um, what do I like to do in my free time? Well, with what little free time I do have, because I am a volleyball coach, I'm a full time student, I work as a waitress, and I'm a substitute teacher. Um, but little free time I do have, I love to read books. I love all different types of books, except for science fiction. That's never been my. Um, strong suit unless we're talking like Harry Potter I don't know if you would consider that a science fiction but that's that's what I like to do um one unique fun fact about me I love photos as you can see behind me I have lots of frames I actually had another one there but it fell down thank you command strips that do not work very well but um I'm obsessed with photos I have a Polaroid camera I have a Polaroid film printer and I just really like like being able to look back at those memories. I gift people photos all the time. And I just really love looking back on them. Um, after I graduate, my ideal job would be um, a kindergarten or a preschool teacher. I thought I wanted to do second or third grade until I was recently in a preschool classroom last semester for my internship. Um, I absolutely fell in love with all the kiddos and it was so much fun and I think that's where I want to be now and it's just the internships are a really good way to figure out where you want to teach after school because I got to try something out of my comfort zone and I didn't think I would like it but I actually ended up really enjoying it um and then finally what is my passion for special education what drives you to advocate instruct motivate and challenge students with disabilities. Why are you pursuing a degree? So, um, I am actually not a minor in special education, but I am the early childhood education. So, um, I think that all of these special education courses that I've that are required for my degree are really important because at that young age of birth, age one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however old that I get to teach up to. Those are the times where it's really essential to notice the tell telling signs or um, different, I don't want to say symptoms because, or just characteristics of what a disability is. And then you as the educator are responsible for being able to identify those and work with parents and other administrators to be able to get the um, student the best education possible. And you're constantly working with IEPs and uh other different um, documents and children in that area and the early childhood unified is birth to age or third grade and those grades are essential to setting a foundation for students and how the rest of their education will look like so that's why I'm so interested in this just because I'm not a special education minor doesn't mean I'm not passionate about it because I am especially with all these courses that I have taken it's really opened my eyes I don't think I could work one-on-one -on -one in a special education classroom all the time I don't think I have the um the heart to do that it takes a special person to work in a special education classroom 24 7 but I love being able to see how children are integrated into gen into the general education classroom and including them with their peers and watching them grow and learn and reaching those milestones and seeing those in a um in a real life classroom is what re has really made me uh learn to appreciate um not only my education but all the other children that I've seen because a lot of people take it for granted when they don't have a learning disability and so it's just really opened my eyes to um show 
to show me how other children go through school with a potential learning disability.